Assalamu alaikum. Our lesson for today is the constitution of matter. Objectives. At the end of this video, students will be able to recognize that matter is made up of small invisible particles in constant motion, compare the distances between the particles of a matter in its different states. Please, I want you to prepare a notebook and a pencil and your physics booklet. Let's recall the definition of matter. It's everything around us that has mass and volume. Matter can be classified according to its physical state. So, it can be solid, liquid, or gas. But what do you observe when you look closely at the details? Actually, solids, liquids, and gases are made up of tiny objects called particles. So, let's learn more about these particles. In this figure, red circles represent the particles, and you can notice the spaces between them. Please keep in mind that particles are in continuous motion, and by motion, I mean movement. Thus, the particles are always moving. Now, we will discover the properties of particles in each state of matter. Let's start with solids. By taking a closer look at the particles of solids, we notice that they are arranged regularly and tightly one next to the other with very small empty spaces between them. So in solids, particles are very close to each other and they are tightly packed, touching with very little spaces between them. And because the particles of a solid are very close to each other, we say that they are regularly arranged. Now, you remember that we said before that particles are continuously moving. But how can the particles of solid move while they are very close to each other and tightly packed? As you see, the particles of a solid vibrate backward and forward all the time. So we say that they vibrate during back and forth motion. So these particles move by keeping the same position and the same distance between one another. Next, we'll discuss the particles of liquids. A closer look at the water shows particles that are close to each other, that are still touching, but there are some spaces between them and irregularly arranged. So in liquids, the particles are close to each other, still usually touching, but there are some spaces between them. Now look at its arrangement. It's not as organized as that of solid, but it's also not random. So we will say that it is irregularly arranged. Now what about the movement of liquid particles? So, the liquid particles slide over one another. And this is what gives the liquids its flowing property. Finally, the particles of gas. If we consider the particles of the vapor coming out of the teapot, we can easily notice that particles are very far from each other and randomly arranged because of the large spaces between them so they are very far from each other and they are randomly arranged and because the spaces between them is very large the gas particles can move freely and in all directions 
Now let us sum up what we have discussed before, starting with the arrangement of particles in solid, liquid, and gas. The particles of a solid are very close to each other, tightly packed, while those of a liquid are close to each other, whereas the particles of gas are very far from each other. Also, solids are regularly arranged, liquids are irregularly arranged, while gases are randomly arranged. Don't forget that in solids and liquids, there are not enough empty spaces, whereas in gas, there are enough empty spaces. Now again, remember that particles are in continuous motion, so let's sum up everything we discussed before about the movement of particles, starting with solid. The particles of a solid vibrate in a back and forth movement. So these particles move by keeping the same position. The particles of a liquid, they slide over each other. While the particles of a gas, they move freely and randomly in all directions. Now, my dear students, solve individual worksheet 14. Thank you for listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.